but darling really blue eyeshadows so tacky just like my accent never fear because i have the answer today we are taking peacock blue something that could be tacky or a tragedy and turning it into something terrific uh... we're taking something that is considered a funky color and making it seductive so take out some of your brights take out some of your neutrals and let's get started oh yeah by the way i'm elisa of new pollution designs now we can begin sure i'm pointing a lot point 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 so first we're going to take max vanilla or you can use any cream eyeshadow that you want um, we're going to dab our fluffy brush in take a little bit and apply this Start at the center or the ball of your eye and work your way across and around. Bring it to the inner corners, highlight there. I like to bring it all the way up and a little bit around as well. Next what I want you to do is take a fluffy brush. I am using a 224 but you can use a Sonia Kashuk brush as well. I'm going to take cork. It's a very mid-tone matte brown, a light cocoa. Dab a little bit and we're going to take this in our crease. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to define where our crease is so we know where to take our bright color up to. Just a little bit will do, just so you know where you're going to go with it. So now we're on to the fun part, the color. I'm using a base from Never To... Be Never Too Busy To Be Beautiful. Uh, it was in London on Oxford Street. I'm not sure if it's still around but it's this gorgeous peacock type color, blue. Also, I have another one, it's Bourgeois Liquid Eyeshadow Shimmering Shine in blue, electro electroise, oh geez, in blue <laughs> number 36. So you can use any base that you have. The reason why I'm using one of these is just to punch up the color that I have. For the eyeshadow, I'm using Electric Eel but you could also use to set it aquadisiac or any blue color that you have. You don't have to stick with blue, but that's what I'm using right now. So I'm going to apply a bit of a base, starting at the base of my lashes. And then I'm going to blend up. And I'm going to continue to add color and blend, add color and blend. Because this is a cream shadow and it can get away from you very quickly. You want to blend your color to your crease. Um, I'm using a MAC 217. You can use any sort of flat brush or a uh, fluffy brush, a flatter fluffy brush in this case. I'm taking Electric Eel and I'm setting the cream base with this color so it becomes more vibrant and stays put longer. Next, I'm taking a fluffy brush, MAC 224, you can use any fluffy brush, and MAC Club. It's a brown eyeshadow with a green shimmer to it. And this is what's really going to tie your look together. The reason why I use this is because it calms down the blue, makes it much more wearable, and takes an eye that looks very powerful and funky and turns it into something very powerfully sexy. If you don't have this color, you can use a dark brown, a dark gray, a dark blue, and just keep blending. When you're happy with your blending, you're going to go back into your highlighter and kind of clean up a bit. Because I've gone a little too high in some areas, the highlighter, once you bring it a little bit further down, will help smooth the edges. After this, you might need to add a little more club or re-smudge the edges, but that's okay. Next, we're going to take a black eyeliner and we're going to smudge it 
as close to our lashes as possible. Gently, starting from the outside in, and very gently um, making our eye a little more straight. to achieve a nice lash line. I'm adding liquid eyeliner just at the base because I really want to darken up that lash line. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes, apply mascara, and come back and talk about the lips and cheeks. For the cheeks, I'm keeping it neutral by using Max Prism because I don't want to take away from the brightness and the drama of the eyes. So you want to keep your cheeks neutral, but you still want something there. So I'm going to line my lips with a neutral lip liner. And you want to start from out to in. Next, I'm using a lip color from this Krylon Lip Palette. It's the LF Lip Mini Palette. And I'm using a just a neutral lip color. Sort of peachy. Almost my color, but better. Then on top of that, I'm using NYX lip gloss in Baby Rose. And that's it. I hope you really enjoyed it. It's a great way to use a bright eyeshadow. Tame it down for everyday use. It's very seductive yet funky. So give it a try. I think you'll enjoy it. Talk to you soon. See you next video. Bye! Three. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you tried this tutorial. It's a great way to use any eyeshadow that seems too bright in a situation in which, what am I trying to say? <sighs> okay. I want to say that you'll like this. Okay. Well, <sighs> take four. Okay. Hi everyone. I'm Elisa of New Pollution Designs and today we're talking teals. I am doing, I am so flipping corny. Oh my God. Okay. Ha, ha, ha.